In this video tutorial, we're going to go over playlist navigation. Now, playlist is just a fancy name for a track inside of Pro Tools. So basically, we're going to be talking about properties of a track or a playlist. Now, understand there is a reason why Pro Tools calls tracks playlists, and we'll get into that more here in a moment. But specific topics we're going to talk about as far as playlist navigation will be creating tracks, moving tracks, deleting tracks, duplicating tracks, resizing tracks, and also showing and hiding tracks as well as our clips or region spin. Okay, let's get started. Here we can see we're looking at a Pro Tools session. We're looking at the actual edit window of our Pro Tools session. Command equals will take us back and forth between our edit and our mix window. And notice within our edit window currently there's a couple menus that we aren't seeing. If you'll navigate to the very bottom right hand corner of our session here, Notice we have a little arrow icon. This little arrow icon will allow us to show and hide the clip spin. If you're on versions 8 or 9 of Pro Tools, the clip spin has uh, been named differently in versions 8 and 9. It's actually called regions. In versions 10, it's now called the clip spin. And they all function exactly the same. It's just nomenclature that's changed. Bottom left hand corner, notice we have a similar icon which will allow us to reveal our groups menu as well as our tracks menu. So again, that's the bottom arrow, bottom left hand corner. Now the track spin allows me to show and hide tracks. And typically you're gonna do this because maybe you don't need to see all the tracks. Maybe you just wanna focus in on a specific track. Notice clicking and dragging will hide tracks. And of course these tracks will still play back. You're just not gonna see them in view. In the event you want to hide all tracks at once, hold down Option before clicking on an individual uh, track hide. And you'll notice all tracks are hidden from view. This will allow you to quickly select a track that you do want to view. And then you can resize and zoom into that track. A little bit more about zooming tracks here in a moment. Let's show you how to create a track. Shift-Command-N gives you the new track dialog. Once you have the new track dialog visible, you can create new tracks by using Command and Plus on your numeric keypad or Command minus on your, on your mirror keypad will get rid of tracks. If you're holding down Command and using your up and down arrow, it'll change the, change the different track types. And if you're holding down Command and using your left and right arrows, that'll change different output formats for your tracks themselves. We'll start off, we'll create four mono audio tracks. I'll also create four stereo audio tracks. Let's go ahead and we'll create a stereo, a stereo master fader. And how about for stereo aux input tracks? Cool. All our tracks have been created inside of Pro Tools. And you can now see these within the edit and the mix window. To rename a track, double click on the track name and you'll be prompted with the name track dialog box. Uh, we'll go ahead and just call this kick. And I already know I have a track called kick, so we'll call this kick B. To get to the next adjacent track, if I hold down command and use my right arrow, notice it goes to the next track. Maybe we can call this base B and command arrow again. So you don't really have to leave the name track dialog box in order to name adjacent tracks. Maybe we'll call this clap be. Cool. Now we've seen how to create tracks, how to rename tracks. Let's show you how to rearrange tracks. Let's flip over to the mix window. Notice I can grab any track by the track name and just simply click. Oh, I actually clicked it twice and it which prompts me to rename the track. Grab a track by the track name and click and drag and that'll allow you to resort the track to any position within the session that you would like. Just simply click and drag it. You can do that from the edit or the mix window. To resize a track, notice inside the track playlist view, you have this little gray area. This little gray area allow you to resize the track. Simply so click inside here, choose the track size you'd like, and notice it resizes the track. You can also hold Option while going in to resize your tracks. And notice Option will actually resize all tracks to be the same track height. So a lot of different options there for allowing you to show and hide tracks. Let's show you how to delete a track. Select the track's name, right click, and you can choose delete. 
You can also use the same method to duplicate a track. Right click, choose duplicate, and notice you have some options here that you can choose to duplicate as well. A quick key for this method, as long as the track is highlighted, would be Shift Option D, which will give you basically the same parameters. So, we've shown you a lot of different features uh, dealing with track and track resizing. Uh, we've gone over moving tracks, deleting a track, duplicating a track, showing your show hide spin off to the left hand side, also showing the clip spin or the region spin, depending on what version of Pro Tools you're using. So this has given, given us a good stepping point for our playlist or track navigation in Pro Tools. Stick around, we've got a lot of great information for you concerning Pro Tools.